in this bag I've got one of each of all the commemorative 50p's in circulation in the UK as I'm making this video there are 70 in circulation so what I'll do I'll pick one at random and we'll go through them all and see what we've got so the first one out is Tom Kitten so there he is Mr Stary Eyes Tom Kitten this is from the Beatrix Potter 2017 series yeah. Um, what I'll do, I'll film on this side of the screen and then I can put some information up on the left hand side. There we go, mintage figure of nine and a half million. It was designed by Royal Mint Engraver, Emma Noble. And it would be worth about 75p, just over face value, if it's in very good condition. I'm basing these prices on selling prices on uh, sites like eBay, Facebook selling pages, online shops, places like that. So they're just an average price of what you would expect to pay or what you'd expect to get if you wanted to sell one. Okay, next out of the bag. And that is Public Libraries. It was minted in the year 2000 to commemorate 150 years since the Public Libraries Act. It was designed by sculptor Mary Milner Dickens. And you can just see her initials there, MD. It's got a big mintage figure of 11,263,000, so only worth face value, I'm afraid, 50p. And the next one is, it's another Beatrix Potter. So this is a bit more like it. This is worth a little bit more. This is Peter Rabbit, uh, Beatrix Potter again from 2018, this one. So this one again is designed by Emma Noble and has a much lower mintage figure of 1,400,000. In that condition, you're probably going to get six pounds, or if you sell it, you'll get six pounds for it. And the next one out of the bag. If you haven't already, please subscribe. All you've got to do is click the red subscribe button. It will turn grey, and that's it. Doesn't cost you a penny, and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Is going to be uh, Sherlock Holmes. This was minted in 2019 to commemorate the 160th birthday of Sherlock Holmes author Arthur Conan Doyle. It's an odd birthday to commemorate 160th but I'm glad they did because I like the coin. It was designed by artist Stephen Raw and with a mintage figure of 8,602,000 it's only going to have a value of the face value I'm afraid 50p. I don't usually like coins with too much writing on but I do like this one. And uh, next one is an Olympic, and uh, it's like Olympic handball. Yep, it certainly is Olympic handball. It has a mintage figure of just over 1,600,000 and was designed by artist Natasha Ratcliffe. This is in my top five of the Olympic designs. I really like this one. Not one of the rarer Olympics, but you'd uh, expect to get about two pounds for that. And now we've got, what was it? Oh, it's a Girl Guiding. And it says they're celebrating 100 years of Girl Guiding UK. So this coin is from 2010. So it's Girl Guiding from 1910 to 2010. See, I'm good at maths. Now, if I can hold this still enough, you can just see initials there, J-E. And on the other side, you've got D-H. And that is Jonathan Evans and Donna Hainan. But I can't find any pictures of those. I think that's a nice design but there were over 7 million minted, so only worth face value again. Let's grab another one. Oh, it's an HS. This was the first commemorative of the smaller 50p, released in 1998. I think it was the first. The EU Stars was 1998 as well. It was minted to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the NHS, 1948, and this is obviously 1998. And we've got the 50 on there, and you can just see the initials of the designer. See the DC there, David Cornell. Now, didn't David Cornell design Judo Olympic as well? I think so. We'll find out later. 5,001,000 of these were minted. Now, this one all depends on the condition, and something like this, because this is pretty nice condition, probably about £3, down to about a pound for a normal condition circulating one. There's still lots left in here. And what is it? Oh, it's Olympic cycling. There it is. Very nice condition, that one. 2,090,000 of those minted. 
and the designer of this one was Theo Crutchley Mack. All the Olympic coins have the Ian Rank Broadly design, the Queen. I'm going to say in that condition £2.50. Uh, now the dictionary. It's the dictionary coin commemorating 250 years since the publication of Samuel Johnson's Dictionary. A lot of people don't like this coin, but I think it's because it was over minted. 17, over 17 million is far too many. It was designed by Tom Phillips. I'm not sure what that is right down the bottom there. It could be a P for Phillips. Only face value for that one, 50p. Aha, it's the new one. It's the latest release, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee coin. I got this one in my change the other day. But look at it, it's only been in circulation a few days and look at those scuffs. The design's actually grown on me a little bit. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but my worry is when this coin's been in circulation a few weeks, a few months, even a few years, it's gonna look awful, isn't it? It's by the design company Osborne Ross. And if we look down there, we see AR, Andrew Ross and Dio Deborah Osborne. I don't know what the final mintage will be on this, but I think it'll be quite high. So I'm just gonna value this at 50p. It's Roger Bannister. This 50p was minted to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the sub four minute mile achieved by Roger Bannister in 1954. It was designed by artist James Butler. Uh, it has a mintage figure of over 9 million, so only face value, 50p for that one. Oh, it's archery. This is Olympic archery, actually Paralympic. You can see there's no Olympic rings. It's the Paralympic logo on this one. Designed by Peter Puaga. This is the highest minted of the Olympic set. And so I'm just gonna value this at one pound. It's Heroic Axe. This is one of two coins minted to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the Victoria Cross. You can see the initials there, CD of the designer Clive Duncan. This one again, only face value as over 10 million were minted. So, ah, oh, it's Jemima Puddle Duck. Yes, this is Jemima Puddle Duck from the 2016 series of the Beatrix Potter coins. And this one again, designed by Emma Noble. Although there are over 2 million of these minted, it's so highly collectible. They are selling at over £10, even in circulated condition. And it's an Olympic coin. Yes, this is Olympic gymnastics from the 2012 London Olympics. And like all the Olympic coins, will be dated 2011. This was designed by artist Jonathan Olif, and you'd expect to pay around £2.50 for one like this. It's another Potter. It's Tittlemouse. Yep, Mrs. Tittlemouse. Another Emma Noble Beatrix Potter coin. This time from 2018. Even though this has a lower mintage than Puddle Luck at 1.7 million, I'm going to price this up at about £3. It's Rowan. This is Olympic Rowan by David Podmore. 1.7 million of these were minted and is selling for around £2. It's another Beatrix Potter, and this time it's Peter Rabbit. It's a very common coin with 19,900,000 minted, so therefore it's only worth 50p. But it does give Bud Flanagan a chance to sing his song. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. And, oh, it's Isaac Newton. Designed by Aaron West, commemorating 375 years since the birth of Isaac Newton. Representing some of Newton's astronomical calculations, the sun at the centre and the ellipses of the planets around it. Over 1.8 million were minted, but it's a very popular coin and I reckon it's about six times face value. I'm going to say three pounds for this one. And it looks like Peter Rabbit. Beatrix Potter Peter Rabbit from 2016. Over 9 million of these were minted, but they are quite popular to collect, so I'm going to say about a pound for this one. There's still loads in here. 
And oh, we've got another Potter here, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Also from 2016, but not quite as popular as Peter Rabbit for some reason. So I'm just going to say 75p for that one. No, it's the Brexit coin. Not much thought gone into that really. A bit rushed through. Only worth 50p. Ah, it's Paddington coin. This is Paddington at the Tower of London, designed by David Napton. Over 9 million were minted, but they are very collectible and are selling for around £1.25. It's an Olympic. This is Olympic Weightlifting by uh, Rob Shakespeare. 1,879,000 of these were minted and it sells for around £2. And it's another Beatrix Potter. This time it's Mr. Jeremy Fisher. There were 9.9 .9 million of this one minted, but it is a Beatrix Potter, very collectible, so I'm going to put this one down £1.25. And oh, it's another Olympic. Olympic sailing this time. This is one of my favourite 50p designs. It's by artist Bruce Rushin, and there were over 1,700,000 of these. So if you have this one and you wanted to sell it on eBay, for instance, you'd probably get about £2.50. Five times face value for this one. And another Beatrice Potter, three in a row. This is Benjamin Bunny. It used to be very common in change, this one, but doesn't seem to be cropping up quite as much these days. It's being collected. It's from the 2017 set but has a massive mintage figure of 25 million, so I'm still going to just put this down as face value, 50p. Oh, here we are. It's the one we've been waiting for. It's Kew Gardens. Now, this is the genuine 2009 Kew Gardens. Watch out for the 2019 restrike. Also, watch out for fakes. There's plenty of videos on YouTube how to spot a Kew Garden fake. You need to go and watch one of those. Designed by Christopher De Brun. Only 210,000 of these were minted. So in this condition, you're looking at, I'm going to say £150 for this. But it's not the most expensive 50p you could find in your change. Stay tuned. Still quite a few left. Uh, oh, it's another Olympic. It's Olympic Botcha. That's how it's pronounced. Like gotcha, but with a B. 2,166,000 of these minted. Designed by artist Justin Chung, and its value would be about two pounds. It's the EU Stars. This was minted in 1998 to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the UK becoming a member of the EEC. It's by designer John Mills, and over five million were minted, so in expect to get about a pound in this condition, but a bit more for a higher grade one. Bag's getting a bit lighter. Um, it's, it's Olympic Boxing. This is Olympic Boxing, designed by Shane Amory. Uh, 2,148,000 of these minted, so expect to get about £2.50 for this. It's Badminton. This is Badminton from the London Olympic set, otherwise known as the Dalek coin, for obvious reasons. Exterminate! Exterminate! Designed by Emma Kelly, there were over 2 million of these minted, and this would cost you about £1.50. It's a Beatrix Potter. This is the Beatrix Potter Portrait, or Potter Anniversary coin. Beatrix Potter, born in 1866, this coin was minted in 2016, commemorating 150 years. It was designed by Emma Noble and there were 6,900,000 of these minted, but like all Beatrice Potter coins, it was very collectible and expect to get about two pounds for this. It's, it's a people act. This coin was minted in 2018 to commemorate the centenary of the representation of the people act an Electoral Reform Act from 1918. I like this design by artist Stephen Taylor, but nine million were minted, so it's only worth face value 50p. 
Oh, it's an Olympic. It's hockey. This is one of 29 Olympic coins dated 2011. This one's hockey, designed by Robert Evans. Over 1,700,000 of these, and I would value this about £2.50. It's Olympic tennis. This is Olympic tennis, designed by Tracy Baines. And at 1,454,000, this is one of the scarcer of the Olympics. So I'm going to say £3 for this one. And it's Benjamin Britten. This is the Benjamin Britten 50p, minted to commemorate 100 years since the birth of the British composer. I'm not too sure about that mottled background. Don't know whether it works really. 5.2 million of these were minted. It was designed by Tom Phillips, who also designed the dictionary coin. And this would sell at about £1.50 in this condition. And now we have the Battle of Britain. I like this 50p. It was minted to commemorate 75 years since the Battle of Britain. It was designed by artist Gary Breeze and with 5.9 million minted, worth about £1.25. If you look on the obverse of this one, below the Queen's neck you can see JC, the artist Jodie Clark. You can find some with IRB, the Ian Rank Broadly portrait, and in nice condition they can fetch up to £20. They would have been removed from presentation packs of that year and found the way into circulation. Uh, now we've got Victoria Cross, the awards. Yep, this is Victoria Cross, the awards, or the medals. This was minted in 2006 to commemorate 150 years of the Victoria Cross. It was designed by Claire Aldridge, but with a mintage figure of over 12 million, it's only worth 50p face value. Um, it's Olympic fencing. From the Olympic set of 29 coins, this one's Olympic fencing. Designed by Roos Summerfield. Just over 2 million of these were minted and has a value of about £2. It's basketball. Yep, this is Olympic basketball. I quite like this design. It was designed by Sarah Payne and with just over 1,700,000, it's going to be worth about £2.50. We must be getting somewhere now. And, oh, it's canoeing this time. Another one of the Olympic set, dated 2011. This is canoeing. The only problem I have with this one, it seems like it's a weak strike. Not much relief on the coin. Difficult to see, especially in worn ones. This is good condition. Uh, it was designed by Timothy Lees, and in this condition, expect to get about two pounds. There was just over two million minted. It's Paddington. This is Paddington Bear at St Paul's Cathedral. Over 9 million of these were minted, but it's very collectible and in this condition about £1.50. It's... what's that? It's Flopsy Bunny. This is Flopsy Bunny. This is one of the harder to find Beatrix Potters. And if you have one of these and was to sell it on eBay, you'd expect to get £6 for it. Right, it's athletics. 2.2 million of this one were minted and it was designed by nine-year-old Florence Jackson. Only worth about £1.50 in this condition, but check the dates. This is a 2011, see if you've got a 2009. In 2009, Blue Peter held a competition to design an Olympic coin and it was won by Florence Jackson. 100,000 were minted, but under 20,000 were actually sold. So let's have a look at some prices. Here's some prices on eBay. These are sold prices. Quite high, well over £200. And even one there without a package sold for £140. So it's worth checking your dates on the Athletics 50p. And it's another Beatrix Potter. This is the Tailor of Gloucester or Tog on the Bog. But I think that's supposed to be a cotton really sitting on there. This is from 2018. There were 3.9 million minted, and in this condition, expect to get around £2.50. And it's Olympic table tennis. Yes, this is Olympic table tennis, or Paralympic, I should say. This one represents the Paralympics, and you can see the Paralympic logo there. 
no Olympic rings. Designed by Alan Linsdell, over 1.7 million of these were minted and you'd expect to get about £2.50. Uh, 2018 and it's Paddington. Yes, this is Paddington Bear at obviously Paddington Station in London. Uh, these are very collectible and even though 5 million were minted, I'm going to put this down at £2. Here, oh, it's Suffragettes. This is a great design for a coin, I think. The Women's Social and Political Union. Designed by Mary Milner Dickens, it was minted in 2003 to commemorate 100 years of the Union. Just over 3 million were minted, and in this condition, they're selling for around £2.50. And it's Olympic football. Yeah, this is the Olympic football or the offside explained coin. This is the lowest minted of the Olympic set. 1,125,500 were made. Um, it was designed by Neil Wolfston. And this is selling now on eBay for around £14. And it's Scouts. This was minted in 2007 to commemorate 100 years of the scouting movement. It was designed by Kerry Jones and 7.7 .7 million were minted of this one, so I could only value this about 75p. And what's that? It's Aquatics. Yeah, this is the Aquatics 50p from the London Olympic set. It was designed by Jonathan Olaf, uh, just over 2.1 million were minted and it's going to be worth around £2. Jonathan Olaf also designed the Gymnastics 50p as you can see in this photograph. But if we take a look at the Aquatics 50p, we can see that the original design had lines on the swimmer's face. It's estimated that only around 600 of these original ones were released into circulation. This makes it extremely rare and is now worth around £1,000. And here's an article here from Change Checker and if we have a look down here we can see that one sold on eBay in May for £955. But sadly there are no lines on this one and as always with valuable coins watch out for copies and fakes. It's a Paddington. This is Paddington Bear at the Palace, Buckingham Palace. Uh, another design by David Napton, 5.9 million of this one from 2018 and it's selling for around £1.25. It's Olympic, minted in 2011. This is my favourite Olympic coin. This is volleyball. It was designed by Daniela Boothman. Uh, just over 2.1 million of these were made. So this is going to be worth about £1.25. It looks like Olympic wrestling. Yes it is, it's Olympic wrestling. It was designed by Roderick Enriquez and just over 1.1 million were minted, making it the second rarest Olympic coin. And on a good day you'd expect to get about between eight and nine pounds for this one. And it's Olympic shooting. Yes, we've got another of the London Olympic coins. This time it's shooting. Designed by Pravin Dudry. Just over 1.6 million were minted. And you could pick this one up for around £2. It's Christopher Ironside. Minted in 2013 to commemorate 100 years since the birth of coin designer Christopher Ironside. The design is by Christopher Ironside himself and uh, this is a popular design even though 7 million would minted you'd still be expected to get a pound for something in this condition. It's pentathlon. This is modern pentathlon from the London Olympic set. It was designed by Daniel Britton. Uh, just over 1.6 million were minted so expect to get around £2.25 or better for this one depending on the condition. It's WWF. Minted in 2011, this coin commemorates 50 years of the work of the World Wildlife Fund. Designed by Royal Mint artist Matthew Dent, 3.4 million of this one were minted and expect to get around £2 for this. Ah, I know what this is. So this 50p has no date on the obverse. It has 50 pence on the left, so it can only be one coin. And that is... 
the Battle of Hastings. This 50p, designed by John Bergdahl, is to commemorate 950 years since the Battle of Hastings. 6.7 million of these were minted and in good condition it's fetching about one pound. It's equestrian. This is equestrian from the London Olympic set. It was designed by Thomas Babbage and is selling for around two pounds. It's an Olympic and now we've got Olympic Judo. This was designed by David Cornell. David also designed the NHS 50p. It's one of the lower minted Olympic 50ps and at the moment this one is averaging about £11. It's Gold Ball. This is Gold Ball, uh, another of the Olympic series. In fact, this is Paralympic, and there's the Paralympic logo. Designed by Jonathan Wren, 1.6 million of these were minted and expect to fetch about two pounds. Oh, it's diversity. This coin was rushed into circulation. Not a very good design in my opinion. Designed by Dominique Evans and with 10.3 million minted, only ever going to be worth 50p. And what's that? Wheelchair Rugby. Yeah, Wheelchair Rugby from the London Olympic set. Actually, this one is Paralympics. And you can see up there the Paralympic logo. It was designed by Natasha Ratcliffe, who also designed the handball coin for the Olympics. And I put a value on this one of £2.25. It's Taekwondo. This is a Taekwondo 50p from the London Olympic set. Designed by David Gibbons, just over 1.6 million of these were minted and you can pick this up for around £2.50. It's Commonwealth Games. This is to commemorate the 20th Commonwealth Games held in Scotland in 2014. Yes, this is the Glasgow Olympic 50p designed by Alex Loudon but over 6.5 million were minted so it's only going to be worth face value 50p. What's this triathlon? This is Olympic Triathlon. Designed by Sarah Harvey. This is one of the rarer Olympic coins at 1.1 million and is selling for around £10 this one. Just two left now. And the penultimate coin is... This is another Olympic coin, but this time it's not from the London Olympic set. This is to celebrate Team GB's efforts in the Rio Olympics of 2016. Designed by Peter Blake from the design company Uniform, 6,400,000 of these were minted, so it's going to be worth, in a good condition, about a pound. And now we come to the very last coin. And it is, last but not least, Squirrel Nutkin. Yes, it's Squirrel Nutkin from the 2016 Beatrix Potter series. Designed by Emma Noble, 5 million of this one were minted and is worth about £1.50. Well, there we are. That's all the 50p's that have been released for circulation. Please just treat this as a rough guide. You could get more if you were going to sell them or you certainly could get less. So there we are. Please subscribe. Please click the like button for me and I'll see everybody in the next video.